NASA finished the basic test of a rocket that could return people to the moon. Aerospace firms have recognized NASA as successfully testing the engines on a Boeing-built rocket for the Artemis missions, which aim to return American astronauts to the moon by 2024, more than half a century since the last moonwalk. NASA simulated the launch by firing the main stage engines of the Space Launch System rocket while it was anchored in a tower at its Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. The Space Launch System is now expected to arrive at Kennedy Space Center in Florida for integration with Lockheed Martin Corp's Orion spacecraft. NASA aims to send an unmanned spacecraft to orbit the moon in November and return American astronauts to the moon by 2024, but the SLS program is three years behind and nearly $3 billion over budget. NASA is building a rocket that will land the first woman on the moon in about 10 years. U.S. astronauts Victor Glover and Michael Hopkins went into outer space on March 13 from aboard the International Space Station ISS, to conduct repair and installation work. Development of the manned Orion spacecraft began in 2004 again, and the Space Launch System rocket was scheduled to make its first unmanned flight in 2017. The first manned launch was scheduled for 2021. However, things weren't going as planned. In 2017 the rocket launch was postponed to 2019 because of financing problems. Further, for this reason, the flight was postponed again and again. Therefore, this year's test launch is a long-awaited event. NASA expected to take the dress rehearsal in early January of this year, thereby saving the possibility of launching the mission in February. Only a problem was discovered with the controller of one of the four main engines that drive the massive rocket. The malfunction was fixed, but the deadline was pushed back again. Today, NASA engineers and contractor teams are working to complete all remaining SLS pre-flight diagnostic tests and close out the equipment before sending the fully assembled rocket to the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center. After the rocket reaches the pad at its mobile launch tower, the spacecraft and its ground systems will undergo a dress rehearsal. The operation will provide a dynamic search of the launch vehicle in terms of its equipment, new ground systems at Kennedy Space Center, and software for the sake of the integrated rocket. NASA wanted to send the first 50 years of humans to the moon in 2024. It is planned, for what reason the crew for the first time will be a woman and not a white astronaut. Such a goal was announced back in 2019, but now due to lack of funding the role will not take place until 2025, writes The Guardian. The publication notes that the astronauts will fly to the moon, but will not land on its glaze as part of the next flight in 2024. Therefore, landing on a personal satellite of the Earth NASA is not planned before 2025. The cost of one launch is estimated at $1.55 billion, and the depraved amount for the 30-year history of the project is $209 billion. The Space Shuttle Converter has become NASA's most expensive project since the Apollonius Lunar Program.